on my way back, I passed this girl who I think she went to Baylor. I said, how's it going? And she just gave me a dirty look. So I said, I wish it was going better. And go fuck herself. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't care how hot you are. If you're going to be a obnoxious, fucking pretentious fucking bitch, I'm going to let you fucking know. That's how my confidence is right now. Maybe like a year ago, even like a few months ago, any girl that gave me any sign of attention, I was like, <gasps> now? No. I don't fucking care. I know where my channel's going. I have to prove anything to anybody. Uh, I don't know. I don't want anything to do with you. Take care. <laughs> yeah, my parents have a psychological problem where they don't, like, I have to do adult things in front of them for them to think that I'm adult, an adult. Um, maybe it's how I sound. Maybe, uh, you know, me being into certain things that, you know, things that I was into when I was a kid still. Because they're cool to me. Uh, has nothing to do with, you know, me not wanting to work for people because people suck and they clearly have proven that. And I don't have to justify that. Uh, you know, I've talked about, you know, what I've been through because of how people, you know, handle office situations that they don't know how to handle and how they ruin people's lives because of it. And then they don't want to account for it because they're not real adults. Um, but yeah, my parents are always worried about, like overly worried about my, you know, direct, you know, you know, economic things, you know, anything. And, and when I explain to them that I'm like uh, putting forth a effort into my channel and I'm sacrificing other things and I can get, you know, if if people don't think that I can just get a job if I apply really hard and, and update my resume, then they have their own problems and they're shot probably. I don't know. Um, but that's, that's just the fact. When you worked as hard as I did in college, um, you can get a job, any, almost any type of job, especially like what I did, uh, you know, well-rounded engineering discipline. And, you know, I branched into structural, done structural analysis. I've done project management, um, done like different types. Like, It's not that I don't, I'm afraid to interact with people while I don't want a job. It's that I literally don't give a shit about people as much. And I'm not as much of a people person because 30 years on this earth, people have just showed me progressively over and over, like 95% of the time, they suck. They suck all the time, most of the time, 95% of the time. It's a secret. Um, when they don't give a shit about somebody or they, you know, most of the time they care about themselves. People suck. They manipulate things. Um, and, you know, I understand the importance of my channel. My parents don't understand that. And they want to superficially look at my situation. Comfortable as fuck. Uh, you know, I have plenty of resources. It's a matter of me finding the, the type of work out of all the types of work that are available to me that, um, you know, I would enjoy doing and I would be able to work on my channel and you know, depending on how fast I could make money, how much I could make per hour, what I was doing, like Salvation Army kind of stuff, you feel like you're filling a need. Um, you know, there's different, there's different incentives to take different types of jobs. And I won't know until I look into jobs specifically. I know exactly what, and maybe even until I start working them. Um, like I'm doing the Uber Eats right now. But my family just over and over again shows just a lack of confidence. And they try to hide it. And then they let out little fucking spurts of like trying to get me on the right track when they you know that's a clear comment that shows that you you have no understanding of my channel you have no understanding of my goals you have no understanding of what i'm doing um and you're tic tacking checking up on like little things that you know i say i'm gonna take care of and you know if you don't have confidence in me because again like what happened at my job impacts your um, understanding of my capabilities like yeah, I don't know what to do like we need a, you need a, you need to worry about yourself and I'll worry about me and keep making these videos and I can handle myself and that's why I made the channel handle myself and my family does not know how to not treat me like a child even though I'm 30 years old and I don't look 30 years old 
Uh, maybe that's a part of it. Maybe it's how youthful I look and how young I look and how I sound. Maybe subconsciously, um, you know, the age gap between my sisters, they don't know how to not look at me as a child. Um, how I take care of myself, I guess. I stay youthful. Um, meditation. Trying to eat the best diet I have available. Um, making sure I have a good biodome in my stomach and I diversify uh, my nutrients and you know, what foods I have available at the time, uh, diversify my intake. Um, you know, I do these things consciously. They get no respect, no credibility. That's why I'm picky because I do a lot of smart, like little things that get no, and that's, you see that in my channel, that get no acknowledgement if I didn't make the channel. It's sad. It's sad. Um, it's sad that I got to make this channel, even though I make this channel, it still doesn't give people the confidence that, you know, um, I don't know. I don't feel like selling myself to a 10 hour job yet. I don't, I haven't gotten to that point yet. Um, the heat here, maybe some people would pussy out. Um, nah. I'm still working out the Uber Eats, seeing how it is on the weekends, basically coming to the conclusion that I'm probably going to have to go to a place to start working full-time on Monday, whether that's uh, Texas Tires or that's the Salvation Army. But if you have an accurate understanding of my capabilities, there's no concern. There's literally no concern. You could throw me in an apocalypse and I'll, and I'll figure out the best possible plan of action. I don't know what else to say. And I, it's like, despite how many times I've mentioned it, the superficial societal aspects of how they look at my situation now, and most likely how, you know, how you look at my situation uh, when I don't shave for a long time, and then how you look at my situation after I shave, you know, I'm, I'm trying to teach a little bit of psychology in this channel too, without people even realizing it. Um, you know, and then my channel, you know, gets to a point where it has 10,000 subscribers, 15,000 subscribers. 50,000 subscribers and I'm making a comfortable monthly income because of how much effort and work I've put into this thing and it, and it turns into basically like a, a spring into the future where you know you put you upload so much content and eventually it, all the content expands in all different directions and all different keyword searches and it's like a spring um you know, like people will look at my situation and and I'll know, I'll hear from the crowd pleasers first, official people first, who I haven't yet, I guess, cut ties with. But like somebody I don't talk to and my situation is different or my relationship with somebody is different because of my situation, I'm completely aware of that. <laughs> um, I've one of the best memories of anybody that I've ever known. And that's one of the reasons why I heavily use marijuana, you know, from my the end of my freshman year all the way through up until the last you know batch that I had I literally like smoking 85% of all days because that's something that I choose to do with my capabilities um you know what I actually care about in life I don't care about going to the extent to dressing up all the time to you know like promotions are nice for my own paycheck but I don't need a promotion to tell somebody I got a fucking promotion so their perspective of what I do at my job every day is a positive one. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> and, you know, I'm so kind of glad that, like, kind of exposing the superficial for who they are, people who don't understand what I'm doing, and, you know, I'll probably see those clowns in the future and I'll reflect back on them and I don't know in this video so